So there are a few simple tips that you can use and should be aware of which will allow you to at least double your damage output within the first descendant and in this video guide I will showcase to you exactly what you need to do and know. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more of the first descendant be sure to subscribe. So there are a few simple things you should be doing to massively increase your damage output. And today I will show you what you need to indeed be doing to increase said damage numbers. So first things first, on your weapon we can see the values of DPS which is obviously damage per second which is calculated by how many shots you can hit per second and this will obviously take into account your weapon's fire rate too. And although this is a nice number to see, it isn't the one we want to be focusing on. We want to be focusing on that firearm attack and that number value. This is what's basically the overall damage output of your weapon. When this is raised through modules and so forth, you will then see DPS values go up too. But the firearm attack is literally what is the weapon's damage output. Also notice the firearm critical hit chance. Critical hits are a damage number you will see when hitting the weak point of an enemy. But as you can see here, I have an 8.4% chance to lay down or see that critical damage come through. So although I can cause damage via hitting the enemy's weak point, i.e. this enemy's head you're seeing here, where these damage numbers are yellow, it indicates the enemy's weak point, but you'll then once in a while see that orange number pop up. Could be red for you, depending on your screen. But this is that crit damage. Now what I will say is as well, crit damage isn't limited to the enemy's weak point. You can get it on the body too. So that orange number, that red number, this is the firearm critical hit rate damage coming into play. So yeah, that is that crit shot, keep that in mind. Because I will be showing you ways to raise this too and actually see it more often. So I've gone into the shooting range using the Magnus AA Assault Rifle and standard enemies matching around my level. And we can see here guys, with a weapon with no modules on it, the damage numbers here are 2138 to the body. This is the non-crit part of the enemy, the non-weak spot point of the enemy. Uh, it's 3141 to that weak spot, which is this enemy's face. And then when that critical shot comes into play, it raises to 4712. So what can we do to raise these overall? Well, coming into the weapons modules, there are a few things here which will raise your firearm's attack. But there are also modules that can only raise those shots landed to the enemy weak points, the enemy crit shots. Firstly though, we'll talk about raising your overall firearm attack. So modules like rifling reinforcement adds 12% to that firearm attack at base. And just applying this module alone, you will see attack values raise. Body shots will now do 2,367. Weak point hits now do 3,484. And critical shots have now raised to 5,226. And well, it really is as simple as that, guys. Raising your firearm attack raises overall damage output on your weapon. So any module which adds to this, adds to that firearm attack, will raise your overall damage output. But there are other ways to improve damage output people. So what about weak point damage? Well that's exactly what it is. So here you gain extra damage on hitting that enemy's weak point. Now I have seen people state that weak point damage is only good against void interception bosses. Although I completely disagree, I think weak point damage is great against any enemy you know where its weak point is. For instance, let's apply the module of weak point sight where it adds 9% to that weak point damage. So we see damage to the enemy's non-weak point doesn't change at all, this enemy's body. But damage to that weak point has now gone up from 3484 to 3685. Now I will state that this doesn't actually change that crit damage, it's literally just that weak point damage, which actually I was kind of semi let down by, I'm not going to lie to you. So although these modules people state are just good for void bosses, I don't think they are. In my opinion, they can be massive for damage output to every enemy in reality. And the more modules you have in which affect that weak point damage will obviously make a difference to your damage output overall, especially when hitting that weak point, clearly. So what else can be done here to see damage improve? 
while the module in better concentration will help it and what this does is raise that firearm critical damage by 19% so when we equip this we see that those critical shots when they do appear have now gone from a 5226 to 6577 which is quite an increase we also have modules like better insight which will equal you into seeing that crit damage proc more often where it increases that hit rate by 10% pretty cool but there are other things you can do and apply to your weapon which sees overall damage go up modules where an element is added to that weapon's output also help for instance the fire enhancement modules which adds fire attack equal to 8% of the firearm attack when this is applied to that weapon we do see overall damage does indeed go up body shots now do 2483 up from 2367 weak point damage is now at a 3801 and crit damage has gone up from a 6577 to 6785 i do have to keep in mind that enemies in this game are sometimes resistant to fire resistant to other elements and this will play a massive part in regards to said modules you apply to your weapons and their damage output now in regards to other modules you can apply to your weapon to increase that dps you could consider modules like the fire rate up increasing your fire rate of your weapon will obviously increase that damage per second but damage per second all relies on you hitting every single shot keep that in mind now it's clear that I'm using the basic normal modules to demonstrate these and these damage numbers but as you play obviously you will start to unlock modules that do more than one thing but as long as you understand the basics you can indeed go on to even more so when those better modules do unlock you can even make combinations to truly increase your overall damage output now important info you need to know about is regards to the module capacity on said weapons this will limit how many modules you can equip at once now there are methods in increasing how much capacity you can have but it requires super rare materials to do so so only do this and use these on weapons you are sure to continue on using. There is also the assigned module socket type. Now if you don't know what this is, I will explain. Every module, every weapon module uh, has an icon next to its capacity number. If you then go into the assigned module socket type and select said icon and slot it in, the weapon will now have that slot where any module you place within it with a matching icon will have a reduced capacity number. This also does require those super rare materials known as crystallization catalysts so yeah now taking everything we've just spoke about in regards to damage output and the modules to do such you can make things even stronger by leveling up those said modules we just spoke about so if you come to cilium within albion here you can enhance said modules and although it is an expensive process once you start doing it it's definitely one you should be investing in we can see here that if we enhance that rifling reinforcement module the overall firearm attack does go up drastically but remember when using this feature you have to keep in mind that the capacity cost will also increase therefore taking up more capacity slots on your weapon therefore not being able to use as many modules unless you do indeed level up those capacity slots on said weapon and now to increase modules it does cost you that gold and those kuiper shards kuiper shards are a little bit harder to come by but there's some great great farms out there we can get unlimited number of these same as gold but yes guys a simple guide on how to increase your damage and well i really do hope it helps you out guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more of the first descendant be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one